What's going on, Titans fans? I'm here with freshman Annika Corcoran. Now, Ani, you are a very tough cookie, okay? Um, most guards would find that the physicality of the game gets a lot more intense, but Ani here has been getting crushed yep. for all of her career <laughs> here. Um, tell me about the time, actually two times, I've nearly given you a concussion. <laughs> um, you know, you just just what you have to expect in a um, physical game, especially being an undersized guard. Yeah. It's just kind of what happens. I was used to it in high school, so nothing really changed. That's good. Um, are you doing okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm great. I feel awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been told that you have to get a mouth guard because of these instances. Um, how do you feel about that? Um, you know, I've never worn one, so I'm a little concerned <laughs> about the breathing aspects of it. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. So, got to protect the pearly whites, feel me? Period. <laughs> Scared of you. I'm here with Allie Reif, Jr. here for us. All right. So, my first question is, what do you put on your sandwiches? I see you slamming a sandwich every day before practice. Can you tell the fans what's on that sandwich? I'll just cut to the chase because I get made fun of it a little bit, but it's all right. I'll get by. Um, ketchup, actually. Yeah. I it might be an Indiana thing, but um, apparently to some of my teammates, it's not. So yeah. And we're talking honey wheat bread, um, either turkey or ham, whatever we have available in the locker room, and just ketchup. No toasted bread. None of that. Not warmed up with ketchup is it good should should others try it if you haven't tried it and you're already hating you can't say you hate it till you try it just saying so period Works for me <laughs> period i'm scared of you but period here again with zoe otis our senior uh if you didn't know zoe is a chai tea enthusiast okay can you tell me where's the best place to get a chai tea latte around here Okay, so there's a um, Starbucks on campus in the library, but if you want the like the real authentic thing, I go to the Starbucks that's on Eight Mile and Woodward. Period. You hear it here, folks. I'm here with Coach B. Scott right here. Uh, Coach Epps, hey, uh, how are you doing? Photo bomber. Okay. Photo bomber. <laughs> so, Coach, you've been known to be rather theatrical on the sidelines um, in your career here. Um, can you tell me about? A time where you might have went over the top, overboard, <laughs> you know. Can you just uh, give me one instance, maybe? Uh, it's probably every game. Okay. But uh, yeah. uh, I think maybe my first year here, uh, we were in a tight game against Youngstown. And it's a tight game, and the ref calls a foul before the ball even gets entered with probably about 10 seconds to go. Unacceptable. And unacceptable. Mm. And the young lady from Youngstown hits two free throws, and we lose on that. And oh, um, no. instead of going to the handshake line, I went to the referee right away. And just like, it's unbelievable. Can't believe you made that call. I'm scared of that. That's probably a good yeah. one. <laughs> and what can fans expect to see from you on the sidelines this year? Oh, I'm going to behave this year because, yeah, I'm going to behave. I, I believe, um, you know, I'm known for not behaving, so I'm going to try to shock some people just like we're going to shock some people on the floor um, by being under control. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And would you say that some people kind of confuse that for passion because I feel like some people kind of yeah. confuse, you know, enthusiasm and passion for, you know, misbehaving or, you know, doing too much. Uh, the so. one thing I tell the ref before um, doing the handshake is don't don't confuse my passion for disrespect. Like, I'm just a passionate guy. I'm, um, I'm always in each game. And um, sometimes my energy probably gets the best of me, but that's who I am. And we love that about you, Coach. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, Titans fans. This was B. Scott. Hey, Titans fans, here with freshman Bridget Fox here. Tell me about your new nickname and where it comes from. <laughs> well, it comes from Max, and they have been calling me Big B 53, so. She's big, she's B, and she's wearing 53. Can you tell me why you wear 53? Well, I never really ha had a number until when I was in like fifth grade. I went on a travel team and I had to pick a number and I had no clue what to do. So 53 is actually my dad's number. So love that. that's what he wore in college. So, you know, I'm wearing it too. <laughs>